At the Canadian Grand Prix, not only were fans brought closer to the action through F1 Insights powered by AWS, but they witnessed a world first, a generative AI-enhanced trophy designed by AWS. To do this, we didn't have to look far, using AWS generative AI technologies to help us design a one-of-a-kind trophy. Generative AI will change the world around us, from the way we work to the way we go about our daily lives. In the past, the way we interacted with data was often defined by storage, search and retrieval. Generative AI goes beyond this, giving us a new software component, the ability to reason and to create. I don't know that I ever thought it was possible to generate a trophy through generative AI. I think we've all heard some standard examples. You can use it for content generation, maybe image generation, for summarization and knowledge management. So I knew we had to jump on it because I had never seen it. And I know for the mainstream consumer that's really trying to understand how is it going to come to my world? What a meaningful moment to be in that crowd and see that trophy and understand that it was spurred by generative AI. I can't think of a better moment to scream and shout about this moment in technology and how transformative it is. I think with a project such as this, there's an awful lot at stake. I have to get right, my team has to get right. Ultimately, a worldwide audience are going to watch an F1 trophy lifted on a podium and that trophy has been part designed by Gen AI technology. As soon as I saw the trophy, I thought of a, a vortex. I saw this swirling flow. And if you actually look at what Formula One car produces, the airflow when it comes over, and for that to be then linked into the trophy, for the winner to pick it up, I think that's a really nice tie-in that we you know, managed to, to achieve. Using generative AI to help design this trophy was really exciting because we had the chance to show what AWS can do. And we want to do something that hasn't been done before. And this is really cool to be able to use Amazon Titan to create this. When feeding different prompts into Amazon Titan image, using data such as our aerodynamics projects with Formula One influence the trophy design. And you can also adjust the seed, which lets you change um, the randomness of the model. And we saw stuff that we never thought we'd expect to see. Aerodynamics was the key thing for the development of the next-gen car. That is what made the difference to a car being able to overtake or not. And the way that AWS helped Formula One was giving access to this huge amount of compute that enabled them to drastically reduce the time it took to run the simulations. Through all those simulations and designs, they found out when they released the car which the teams ultimately designed, they saw 30% more overtakes, and aerodynamics was key to all of that. We needed an incredibly skilled craftsperson to take the generative AI design and bring it to life. The first thing I did was the a twist of the trophy. You see, that is the main thing. It has to look like a wing, you know, like a speed. So I spent, uh, I think it was around like a couple of days just playing with that, and it came out great. It's just, uh, I'm very proud of it. Sometimes I get kind of surprised how good it looks. Probably is the one of the best trophies I've done. Once we've completed the 3D rendering on the screen, we can then print the trophies in resin form. That's when the old school silversmiths can get to work. They coat those trophies with silver. They can be polished, they can be engraved, and all those processes are centuries old. Generative AI has done a fantastic job in developing that general theme of the trophy, but ultimately it's the human hand, it's the human eye, and it's all those years of experience that have developed the trophy that we see today. The community of fans were ecstatic and so thrilled to see something that technology and humans designed together, and there's no greater way to say this is what generative AI is. This trophy really represents the modern world in so many ways. Designed in Seattle on the west coast of the United States, modified in London and then finished in Sheffield in northern England before being raced for in Montreal, Canada and finally on the global stage held aloft in front of millions across the world. It really is a global project. With this project, Customers can see what's possible with Gen AI just by seeing the output of creating this trophy. Like, 
We always think about chatbots or assistants and things like this, which are great and helpful. But seeing this thing get created from a prompt into a real physical trophy is really inspiring.